Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, they have the new player of the month, Openda, today. They didn't want to give him the four star, four star. Huh? They kept him on the three star, three star. It is what it is, boys. Uh, guys, with Openda, we're taking a look at someone who has the solid player traits, finesse shot traits, outside foot shot, speed dribbler. Couple of interesting stuff to work with there. In game attributes. He's a really well formatted card for the marksman chemistry self for the most part, right? Um, I know at the time during that time period, there was a lot of people that wanted me to review his inform card, which we didn't end up doing. But obviously, with the player of the month version existing now uh, on a marksman chemistry style, he could definitely be very nice. He's currently not on the foot of the beans, but take a look at this bad boy, right? So if you give him the marks when they boost the reactions, ball control and dribbling, and then they perfectly format the stats of the card when it comes to finishing capabilities too. So it's probably gonna be the one that most people give it is. Yeah. So we're gonna be giving that for the player of the month as well, who is still not here. So yeah, uh, we'll be doing that for the player of the month passing on the cards. Give me a 91 for a short passing. Um, composure will be at an 84. I don't know if that's gonna be that big of an issue with him because I heard he's actually pretty decent in game anyways. We'll see. Uh, the card has a 99 jumping with 99 heading accuracy, which is kind of crazy as well um, to get into those positions really quickly. And then he also has a 90 for strength, 86 for aggression. So a couple of interesting stuff, a couple of interesting stuff. You know what's actually cool about Openda in the future is that um, if Ofana doesn't end up getting a card and you ended up completing that card, it's a nice little link up to him. But um, yeah, let me go ahead and complete the SBC and I'll show you guys how we line them up. Okay, guys, so uh, we added him into a team here. Um, okay, Coolio, Coolio. Uh, let's see what tactics we have on this. We have 4-3-1, 4 3 one perfect. That works perfectly. And then we have my boy Fofana. Fofana the beast. Uh, instructions, okay, so centric up. This 4 3 two, one is still really good. It's still, it's, it's just one of the most solid formations of the game. Okay, Marks without Mbappe and Openda. Let's go try him out. Yeah, I had to take a small touch because uh, if I shot that right away, that would not have worked out. Still scored it. I'll tell you this right now. The the thing that you notice the most right away is the high low work rates works pretty well, you know. See you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to like kind of analyze his movement there. Like it's really fast. Like you have to utilize the space really quickly with him. Finesse? Oh, see, I yeah, you need to create a mechanic. It lets me bend my body to hit it on his strong foot, man. I don't know why it's still not a thing. That's unfortunate. Would've been nice if we score that. That one we got. Nice finesse shot. Guys, I'll tell you guys this right now. Um, if someone were to do like a foot champs challenge and they were using like a quote unquote RTG team and Openda was in the squad and they understand how to do basic football stuff, like this is a good striker to use that's cheap. Like I can see why people wanted me to review the inform. Try a strike with his uh, weak foot there. I feel like he's actually going to be good at hitting this. I don't know why. Let's see. Pass it far. Come close. Touch. Oh, direct. Because of that, it's the small touch I took there. It made him more direct there. That works out. Be a 
Yeah, he has the right movement and stuff too, man. You know? He has the right movement to get into those positions quickly. That's from kickoff too. I'm saying it's from kickoff too, as if kickoff isn't super overpowered and your defense is dumb. <laughs> That was so random, but it worked out. Well read to win possession back. Oh, he's through here. Oh, tap shot with the weak foot. Nice. The forward thrust from Payet now. Oh, a nice looking pass. Oh, man, unlucky. I got really lucky there with the pass. I didn't even expect to get that. Super random, but we made it work. King with a fine challenge. Yeah. It's unfortunate you can't even do like a Burba cancel because he just he does it with emphasis, right? Like, that's gonna be annoying. Actually almost got that jam there, that's kinda nuts. The card's cool, it's just the three star, three star, when you get to the top divisions, people are parking the bus, like it's annoying to not have skill moves. Like it just is, right? Obviously, he has the right attacking AI movement. His shooting is actually not that bad once you get into the right positions because of the really good shooting stats. What does that pass? But yeah. And here's the starting lineup for the young boys. Edwin van der Sar begins between the posts. Yeah, he has that run too. First time strike. You see what I'm saying? Like, he has that run. The pace being perfect, the high-low work rates, like, that part of the card works out great. Oh, my goodness. That was so random. I don't even think he knew what was happening. His defender just got that for him. Ooh! Was it a foul? Okay, I was about to say, my boy. Yo, don't watch that, my boy. Don't watch that. What's this free kick tactics? Or his free kick thing? Oh my goodness, it's horrible. You know that you know what that means, boys. Free kick tactic. Press the ball off. Touch. Tap shot. You know how we do. You know how we do. Oh, nice try. Nice try, nice try. Well, the visitors, as you can see, have enjoyed so much of the possession. And have used opportunity. <laughs> Bro, you know I had to go for some audacity. Going well. And the cross from Mbappe. Oh, dude, Vanderstar is just built different, man. I'm telling you, this guy is just built different. Oh, I wanted to see if I can go for some sort of audacious strike. Oh, you just got mangled, my boy. Oh my goodness, what's happening? You can't allow this. Oh, the Burba spin, no chance I can do with him. Oh, boys, round two. Wait, wait, where is he? It's harder to do it on the inside, but we tried anyways. And we get lucky, but Vanderstar is still a beast. Sandro Tonali. Excellent passing. Lovely ball over the top. Oh. Especially against the pressure tactics, man. Pogba has options. Beauty. Great finish. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the player of the month Openda card. So, um, yeah, it was really interesting because I could see why people wanted me to review the 87 rated inform when that card was released. Uh, 2,300 likes with 150 dislikes. Uh, we just never ended up doing it. Um, but yeah, I could totally see why because this card, he has the right things in the game to be a pretty solid card if given the right upgrade. Now, 
them not giving this card the four star four star is going to be for obvious reasons right he's probably going to get a like a team of the season and that's what their selling point is going to be for you to use an openda card that has a team of the season rated version because there's a bunch of things on this card that bounces off of it really nicely right so a combination is going to be this 99 acceleration or 99 sprint speed for base card stats at a high low work rate incredibly noticeable in game right you see it on a consistent basis especially if you have the instruction of stay central getting behind you see it all the time with these types of cards on a marksman chemistry style boosting his shooting to be perfect in the finishing department will be a nice compensator for the three star weak foot if you're working with higher percentage strikes but on the lower percentage strikes obviously you got to green time your shots as much as possible, but they're going to be a little bit, little bit less consistent. But obviously, when you give them the shot power and the finishing boost, it's definitely a very welcome inclusion on the card because even on a marks, when you give them that extra strength to work with, because here's the thing with these types of cards, when you're a high low work rate card that is noticeable in game, especially in his case, with his shooting being pretty decent, and all that kind of stuff, having physical stats on top of that is great because one, the high low work rates will allow you to get into positions really quickly for a cross, which he was able to do in a in a bunch of consistent situations. Like I would go for a build up play. Someone's using a pressure tactic. He would make that one run and then I would have that space to work with because of that consistent high low. He has the strength. His aggression at an 86 is helpful to work with at a 99 acceleration, 99 for sprint speed. The dribbling I will say that for this card, you do notice the average body type, but when you utilize the L1, R1 dribbles, you don't really care that much about it, right? If you utilize those things um, when it comes to the dribbling mechanics of the game, you just don't really care, right? Um, it's unfortunate with this card because obviously with him being a three-star, three-star player, once you use these types of cards in the top divisions, in my opinion, it is very important to at least have a four star, four star capability nowadays. I think it's very, very important to work with that. If you play basic football, build up, play football, you definitely can make this card work. If you're doing like some sort of like foot champs challenge where, I don't know, you were doing like some sort of like road to glory account and this guy was on your team, I could see people scoring a bunch of goals with him. Like he has the proper movement to get into the right positions at the right time to score the opportunities. Obviously, with your other attackers, you would have to have someone that is four star, four star minimum. Like in our case, we had Mbappe. So the combination between him and Mbappe was fantastic. But regardless, it's a really it's a card that is formatted nicely for what he could potentially be in the future with a minimum four star, four star improvement. But yeah, he has all the right things. The average wide type, like I said, you do notice that from regular left stick dribble, right? 100 percent, um, as well as the composure in certain situations. But you don't really care too much about it like it's, especially when you're utilizing that l1 dribbling it's not really that big of a deal but yeah the the deal breaker for this card is obviously being a three star three star like you have to play really basic football to score opportunities and you have to like really rely on his attacking AI, which is nice because he does compensate in that right the, the pace being high the high low work rate that compensates really well for the lack of four star four star but obviously once you get into the top divisions of people parking the bus you got to do the Mortal Kombat skill move combinations to kind of score sometimes in certain areas, right? So, yeah, that's where it could maybe present to be a problem from time to time. But generally speaking, it's a really nice card. Um, it's just a shame about the uh, whole four star, four star situation. That's like the main thing, obviously, but very good and everything else pretty much except for left stick dribble. But like I said, you don't care about it because the L1 R1. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.